Looks for Willock. Sees Tammy Abraham making that run against his former team. Tammy Abraham just does not stop scoring. Otolisio is making a good run. Now Tammy Abraham slides this one through for him. Tammy Abraham even in the Champions League. Last episode, we got a huge shock with Saint Maximin, our star player, submitting a transfer request to leave the club. Today's episode, we're going to be discussing some potential solutions. One of them could be signing Kylian Mbappe to replace Maximin next season. We'll discuss more about this, but this is just a suggestion so far. And let's not forget, we've got a Carabao Cup final in today's episode as we take on Liverpool. Chance to win a trophy we haven't won so far in this series. And of course, Champions League action, round of 16, second leg against AC Milan. So a lot to look forward to in today's episode. It really is a big one today, guys. And if you are enjoying this Newcastle career mode series, keep the support coming in by dropping a like on the video, subscribe if you're new around here, and let's get things underway. Press conference to kick off the episode. And no surprises at all. The first question is about St. Maximin. There were so many comments giving me suggestions on what I should be doing. So the question here is, you still have St. Maximin for the next two years. He cannot leave without your agreement until his contract expires. That is actually wrong because the board can decide to sell St. Maximin on their own, which means we'll be getting a small amount of transfer fee compared to what we could get. And if the board decide to do that before his contract expires, we will be in trouble because I don't want to be missing out on getting the maximum amount of cash I can. So there's that. But of course, we're going to be keeping St. Maximin until the end of this season. But I'm genuinely thinking, guys, if we get a mega offer next season, he's, he's unwilling to stay. We're just going to have to let him go, let him fulfill his dreams. We'll get the cash and we'll go in for a big signing then. That's what I'm thinking as of now. We'll be getting St. Maximin for the next five months at the very least. So if he can guide us to a Champions League final, how insane would that be? But it's all open in the air right now because there's just so many possibilities. But yeah, St. Maximin has really thrown a curveball at us. We'll be talking more about this as the season progresses. Next up, remember it was AC Milan who knocked you out of the Europa League last season, so the revenge is on. I completely forgot about this. It really was AC Milan that knocked us out of the Europa League. And look at how the tables turn. We're now facing them in the round of 16. 2-0 up from the first leg. We go to San Siro. And I reckon we'll get the job done. So yeah, we'll get the revenge on them hopefully in this episode and make it to the quarterfinals. Interesting next question. Who is your first choice left back? Nuno Tavares or Jamal Lewis? Because Jamal Lewis is back from his injury. I think for me at this point of time, it's got to be Nuno Tavares. I just feel like overall his stats are so, so well balanced in terms of pace, in terms of physicality. He's tall as well. Don't get me wrong. Jamal Lewis is a fantastic player himself. But right now for me, Nuno Tavares has been in great form. He's really taken that spot with the injury to Jamal Lewis, you know, slowing him down. So for me, at this point of time, Nuno Tavares is my first choice left back. That's the press conference done. And I'll be even surprised at who's winning the player of the episode award. It's Tammy Abraham again. He just cannot stop scoring, man. He's on 31 goals, I think, this season. He's going to smash the 40 goal mark, maybe even push for 50. I just don't know where he's doing this from. It's crazy, but let's hope Tammy can keep this form up. Now, before you guys all lose your minds, let's briefly talk about this. Kylian Mbappe at Newcastle United. What a transfer this would be if we do a season four, if St. Maximin leaves. Wow, is this going to be expensive? But if we can sell St. Maximin for a good amount of money, I reckon this is a possibility, guys. And there were rumours, remember, when um, Newcastle were going to get taken over by a Saudi organisation, or the government actually. Mbappe to Newcastle was just a rumour, there were like betting odds on it, so it's not the most... It is a ridiculous transfer, who am I kidding? But in Season 4 of this Newcastle series, I feel like we've got enough clout, as you would say, to sign a player like Mbappe. And if we want to keep the series going without saying Maximin, I feel like we need a player who's going to be just as good or even better. And Mbappe, oh my god, the possibility of having him in a Newcastle shirt, potentially with Gucci sponsorship. Oh god, would that be insane. Let me know your thoughts on this. The pos We've got to make it something positive, you know, about St. Maximin leaving, because we can't just, like, uh, throw hands around and just not replace him properly. If he does leave, I want to replace him with a superstar. And Mbappe might just be the man for the job. Anyway, enough of all that. Right now, let's live in the present because we've got the Carabao Cup final against Liverpool. 
a massive chance to win another trophy. We're on four trophies so far in this series, two FA Cups and two Community Shield Finals. I want to add another one. And the Carabao Cup might just be the play. We're playing against Liverpool, a team we've knocked out twice in cup competitions. Let's get the better of them again. I'm taking a fair few risks for this game because, well, we're struggling with stamina issues. We've got so many games of football these days that, of course, we're going to have stamina issues pretty much every time we play. But in the cup final, I'm having to start Almiron and Longstaff, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I think having them in the team is going to be really helpful. Plus, I'm starting Jules Skonde, his first game back from his injury. Playing him in a cup final is a huge risk, but... I want to do it guys, I feel like he's ready, he's still got good stats even with the minus 3 on him, in fact he'll be higher rated than Fofana anyways, I think I'm going to do it guys, that is the team I'm going with for this cup final, Liverpool looking as good as ever, they're starting Salah and Mane against us, Origi, Henderson captains them, the defence is looking a bit meh without Van Dijk but it's still Liverpool, they're going to be putting us under a lot of pressure, they're first in the Premier League this season, this is not going to be an easy cup final. Another visit to Wembley. Let's get it. By the way, do we actually have a perfect record at Wembley? I feel like in this series, we've never lost at Wembley, guys. I don't remember at least. Let me know in the comments section if you guys can, like, remember if we ever lost at Wembley. I don't remember, guys. And that's why I think we're probably favourites for this one. The past record says for it. And, well, let's get it done. Yes, Tammy Abram. We know he's got a good record against Liverpool. He scored a hat-trick against them before. Looks for Almiron. Here goes Almiron. Oh, that touch was nice, but I think the defender put him off there, and that's why it could have maybe been called as a penalty, but since Almiron didn't go down, the ref's not having it, but Almiron is looking in the mood tonight, which is awesome to see. Releasing it for Longstaff. Now, Tammy Abraham, I could see the pass, but Trent saw that really well. I was looking to find St. Maximin there, but that uh, didn't work. So far, though, 25 minutes into this game, it's been all at Newcastle. You'll love to see it. Wijnaldum has just turned me there. And he looks for the pass for Rigi. That was class from Ginny Wijnaldum. The way he turned my defender there inside and out. And played that pass. It was nice. But thankfully, the pass didn't really have the perfect weight on it. And we didn't concede from it. Longstaff. Remember the first time he scored in a cup final for us, guys. That was such a memorable goal. FA Cup first season. I think the final. Yeah, that was so memorable. Was it against Leicester? I think it was. Imagine if he scores again. Hendo looking inside for Origi. Problems here. Conde can't. Oh, he's made a big mistake there. Now Salah is through on goal. Nick Pope with a massive save. We've been talking a lot about potentially selling Nick Pope. But lately in this series, he's making those outrageous saves and keeping us alive in games. And that was one of them, guys. You'd expect Salah to take the lead from that. But thankfully, Nick Pope made the save. It's still nil-nil going into the second half, and it's even Stevens. Anything can happen in the second half. Jordan Henderson looks for Mo Salah. Problems here for us as it's Origi. I don't want that pass going back to him. And Fabian Shah read that so well as we uh, can't get the ball away, though. That's that's so frustrating. We defended that so well. Origi still has it. Looks for Fabinho. We don't want him shooting. Mane. Now, why now? Get it away, man. Liverpool playing some nice passing football. Salah now. And Jules Skonde with a strong challenge. I'm glad we played him because... He's doing pretty well so far. No signs of, you know, struggling to cope with his recovery. So, love to see it. But, man, Liverpool really keeping a lot of possession in this one. Uh-oh, uh oh Chance for them to score. Fabian Shaw with a huge block. For the moment, I thought the ref's going to give a pen for that. But, no way, man. What a challenge from Fabian Shaw. So far, I think he's been our best player on the pitch. I'm going to try and cut inside with Almiron. Oh, Joe Willock's made a good run. Still, Joe Willock, no daily blend with the tackle. Ah, Liverpool have defended so well tonight. Looks for that pass for a Liverpool player. Fabian Schaar again right there in the middle of things making the challenge. Now it's Fabinho. Jules Skonde is there to intercept. To be fair, I think both teams defensively have been spot on tonight. They know what's at stake here. Full time and I don't think I've played such a KG Cup final in this entire series. Or pretty much on FIFA 21 career mode. Barely any opportunities. Clear cut chances. I don't think we had even one. And even Liverpool didn't really have, apart from like that one Nick Pope save. A very weird cup final. Let's just see what the what the extra time brings now. Because, yeah, I'm surprised at how conservative Liverpool's approach was. Gonna make three changes now for extra time because we need some fresh legs. Fofana comes on for Conde. We don't want to rush Conde to play 120 minutes of football, do we now? Dylan Miles comes on for Willock. And Mbake playing on that right side instead of Almiron. Let's hope these changes work out well for us. Oh my god, what? What? What was that? How have we given Liverpool that chance? Out of nowhere, guys, they get an opportunity and they score. I don't even know who the guy is who scored against us. 
Have a look at that. I tried clearing the ball away with Jamal Lewis and look what he's done. Falls right to a Liverpool player, convenient that is. And they make it 1-0 in extra time. Literally one of their first opportunities. 98th minute of the game. We're 1-0 down. Backs against the wall now, guys. We've got to push for that equaliser. How is this guy getting through my defence, man? Nuno Tavares, Nick Pope, thankfully, positioned himself really well. Right now, I feel like Liverpool have completely taken over the game. We're struggling, man. We really are struggling. I see Mbake making that run. Probably the first time we've seen a player make that kind of a run in this game. As he looks inside for Longstaff. Messes up, but we still have the ball, though. Miles looks now for Tammy Abraham. Sees inside for St. Maximin. Go on. This could be the moment we've been waiting for in this game. St. Maximin here. Looks inside for Mbake. What a moment this is. No, he couldn't get the shot off. Oh, we still have the ball with Mbake. Good dribbling. Looks for St. Maximin. Space to maybe shoot. Tries to bring it inside, but can't. We've tried so hard. And we have the ball again. And we keep going, guys. We do not give up here. Mbake looks for Max Adams. Massive chance. Max Adams left foot. What, what, what a shit shot that was. And the ball's cleared away. That was so bad. Full time and for the first time in this series, we've lost it. Wembley and Liverpool win the Carabao Cup. I'm frustrated, man. We don't lose cup finals here at Newcastle, at least in this series, man. Or at least we haven't. We've played four finals so far and we've won all of them. And for the first time, Liverpool get the better of us. Jota celebrates, Mane celebrates. It's frustrating, man. Fair enough, though. They had that one chance. We made a mistake at the back and they capitalised. We did well in extra time, especially in the second half, but we just couldn't find the back of the net, man. Ah, frustrating. Really, really frustrating. But can't let our heads drop. We've still got the Prem and the Champions League to play for. We simulated this one against Wolves and we come out as 4-1 winners, which is awesome. Wasn't expecting that. Willock scored Ferran Torres, Calvin Phillips. A solid result for us in the Prem. Hang on a minute. Things have changed dramatically in the Premier League. And this just goes to show we got to put the set back in the Carabao Cup final behind us. Because we're actually in the run for the Premier League trophy. The win against Wolves just put us one point behind Liverpool. But of course that game's against Manchester United. So we've got a tough task ahead of us at Old Trafford. But I'm pretty sure we've beaten them before at Old Trafford. Let's do it again and try and leapfrog Liverpool. They got us in the Carabao Cup, but we're not letting them get us in the Premier League. That's how I'm lining up my team for this massive game at Old Trafford against Manchester United. I do like the fact that their defence is super tired in terms of stamina. We can maybe exploit that. Ferran Torres, Tolisso are back in the team. We've got our pretty much entire first team back for this one. Let's make it count, guys. Newcastle, Manchester United. We need three points here. Massive game at Old Trafford, guys. We got to bounce back from the L we've taken to Liverpool in the cup final because... That was frustrating, man, especially to lose an extra time. But we've got a chance to keep the pressure on Liverpool and we got to do that, guys. I feel like this is the season that we should be able to win the Prem. We've got the squad. Let's freaking make it happen. Let's keep getting the results. Manchester United's pressure in this game has been utterly ridiculous. I'm struggling to even get the ball off them. And when I do, I'm just not able to counter them, which is frustrating. But maybe this is where things change. St. Maxman attacking this Manchester United team. Joe Willock now on the ball. Looks for Tammy Abraham. Can he turn the defence? That's the real question. He can't, so he releases this one for Tolisso. We're playing the ball around really well, but we need the final product from someone. St. Maximin looks for Willock. Is he onside? He scores, but he is just offside. Huh, at least we're creating, though, now. Joe Willock. Ferran Torres now goes for goal. Difficult angle. Maybe I could have gone for the cutback. Ah, the pass was not really there. We still have the ball, though. Tammy Abraham. Can't get past this man. Now Ferran Torres goes down inside the box. Earns us a penalty. Some neat footwork from Ferran Torres. Has just given us the chance to go 1-0 up at Old Trafford. And you guys know when we go 1-0 up. That's when the game really changes for us. Because the floodgates open up. We need to make this count. We're going to take this penalty with Tammy Abraham of course. Come on Abraham. You've got to put this one in. Please Tammy score this. And let's freaking go. The keeper couldn't guess the right way. Tammy Abraham strikes. Manchester United 1-0 down to Newcastle. It's yet another goal for Tammy in the Premier League. I'm glad for once he scored a penalty for us because we've been struggling with penalties in this series. But there you go, boys. 1-0 up. We really got the lead at the perfect time. I mean, it was a big mistake on Soyuncu's part giving away that pen. We slotted home and now in the second half, we've got the advantage. And let's get the job done. Oh, problems for us. Bruno looking to get through to Mori with a strong challenge. I decided to play him over Conde because 
You know, just recovered from his injury and Tomori was fully fit. And Tomori's an absolute beast on this game. So I think that's paying off because he's had a really good performance so far. St. Maxman in a good spot, strikes it well, but De Gea makes a solid save. I've got to say, ever since the news about him requesting a transfer, we're not seeing the same output from St. Maxman as you'd expect. But he's still trying, though, I guess, which is more than good as he looks for the corner opportunity. Tami Abraham attacks it, but Pogba defends that well. Sees Ferran Torres as he looks to cut inside, maybe. Left-footed attempt from Ferran Torres takes a big def deflection and that could have gone anywhere. But, well, we, yeah, don't get the goal for that, at least. Ferran Torres is growing a lot now into this team, I've got to say. And he earned the penalty and he's playing well. Manchester United growing into this game. In the second half, they've been very dormant, but they just need that one chance and they could get the equaliser. Thankfully, Calvin Phillips is there. To clean things up as per. Pressure is certainly building up as Calvin Phillips gets beaten there. Cavani, chance for him. He's beaten me there but I've kind of recovered here with Fabian Shaw. But the struggle is still on. Cavani again, looks for Bruno. How do I block the shot? And it's off the post. I cannot believe our luck there. Manchester United had cut us open. Bruno Fernandes' shot coming off the post. My God, a big moment in the game. We just about survived that. Could, could that be the last attack Manchester United create? I really hope so, man. We just got to keep the ball now. Ferran Torres. I see Max Ahrens making the run. This is really nice. Max Ahrens. If Tammy Abraham can hold his run back, which he can, goes for goal, goes for goal again. De Gea with another save. That could have sealed the deal for us. How did we not score that? And there you go. That's that for this one. We got super lucky at the death with Bruno hitting the post. But I'll take it, boys. A big win for us in the Premier League. We're putting as much pressure as possible on Liverpool. Okay, so at the moment, we're top of the league, a couple of points above Liverpool. I'm pretty sure this is the first time in this series we're top of the Premier League. But of course, Liverpool have that game in hand. But look at the chaos that's about to ensue in the Premier League. Our next game in the Prem is against Liverpool and that's going to be in the next episode. Oh my God, is that going to be massive. Absolutely massive, guys. Liverpool in the next episode. A game that could well and truly potentially decide who wins the title? Wow, that's going to be epic. For now, the focus is on Milan. Second leg against AC Milan. Last season, they got the better of us in the Europa League. This season, though, we've taken things to a completely different level. Tammy Abraham is in the form of his life. Let's see Milan out of the Champions League and make it to that quarterfinals. Just a bit of scouting. No wonder we saw Milan off in that first leg pretty easily. They're fifth in the Serie A. They're not having the best of seasons. We've got a few changes in our lineup with Conde, Lewis and Longstaff playing. Apart from that, it's our first team. I must say though, AC Milan have made quite a few changes and the big one is Lyot starting at Cam and Rebic starting ahead of Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Maybe they want a bit of pace up top. They've got Kessie, Ben White, Donnarumma. We're 2-0 up guys, so as long as we don't do anything silly, we'll be making it to the quarterfinals. Let's get this done. I'm just thinking guys, if we do decide to ship on St. Maximin, imagine final season of St. Maximin's career at Newcastle. He ends up winning us the Champions League. How incredible would that be guys? And that's probably the finish I want if St. Maximin decides to end his career at Newcastle and move on to a different club. But for that, we need to get past Milan. We need to get past whoever we face in the quarters, semis and then finals as well. But long way there let's take it game by game for now we're up against Milan's second leg we've got the advantage let's make it count oh that's a good pass for Rebic an early goal for Milan could be huge Fabian Shaw with the big block guys this episode Fabian Shaw has played out of his skin unreal from him man honestly and how is that not a foul on Longstaff I don't know but my god Fabian Shaw has been big but a chance now for them and all the hard work gone all the hard work gone as Milan get the goal Terrible defending from us, but I must say in the build-up play, how is that not a foul on Sean Longstaff? Like, I have absolutely no idea. Milan have made it 1-0 at San Siro, and now the anxiety is going to kick in because we're going to have a big game here at San Siro. The tie is not done anymore. It's it's well and truly open now, and this is going to get things heated. Could slide this one for Tammy Abraham. It was a good pass, and Tammy Abraham has broken through. A goal now would be huge, and of course... Dami Abraham scores yet another goal for him in the Champions League and this is huge because it's an away goal now as my calculate if my calculations are correct Milan now need three goals more to go through yep I think they do need three because if they score two more on away goals we're still going through so this is massive for us and of course it's Dami Abraham who breaks uh, the scoreline for us and makes it 1-1 huge moment for him 
How many does he even have in the Champions League this season? Let's check, guys. Six in the Champions League. I thought he'd have scored more. But anyway, it's a big moment for him. Rebic. Oh, that's good shielding from him. Rebic with some neat play. Fabian Shaw did well, but he still gives the chance away for Tonali. Milan make it 2-1. AC Milan aren't giving up, guys. They're not giving up at all. They just now need two more goals. But I feel like we've got more goals in us, so I'm still not worried. That goal that Tammy Abraham gave us has given us a really good cushion. And as I said, let's make the advantage count. Oh, here we go now with Tammy Abraham making the run forward. If he scores again, it could be game, set, match done. Strikes it, but that's good defending from Milan. They're giving everything. Tammy Abraham... Look at the space here for St. Maxman. A goal now would end Milan's hope. Definitely St. Maxman. Let's go, guys. All the doubts about him not being a 100% with all the contract issues with him submitting a transfer request. I'm sure he still wants to help guide this team to a Champions League final. And he's just helping us out doing exactly the business we require from him. A big moment in the game. Tammy Abraham providing the assist. St. Maxman with the finish. And now the job has gotten even harder for AC Milan. I think now they need three more goals again, do they? Let's take a quick look. Yep, they need three more goals to go through and we're looking comfortable at halftime. Here we go now with St. Maxman on the breakthrough. Go on, St. Maxman. If we score another goal, I think it's all done. St. Maxman. Oh, that is just class. That is just class. What a way to start the second half, guys. What a finish from St. Maxman. It's 5-2 now on aggregate. I think the job's done. I really do think the job's done. What a classy finish from St. Maximin there. Have a look at that, guys. It was... That finish was just oozing class. Unbelievable. I think the job's done. In fact, I'm so confident what I'm going to do now. I'm going to sub off Nami Abraham for Wilson. I'm going to sub off um, St. Maximin for maybe Almiron. And we'll also rest um, Willock. A few risky plays there, guys, but I think it's going to pay off. Reason being, we've got Liverpool next and we need to focus on that. I'm just going to jump to Sim. The game's done. How do we jump for the final result? Jump to result. There you go. That's how the game finishes. It's job well done. We've knocked out AC Milan from the Champions League. Revenge has been achieved. Okay, so the draw for the Champions League quarterfinals has been made, but I'm going to make you guys wait to find out who we'll be up against. You guys will find out in the next episode, so stay tuned for that. For now, though, have a look at this. Newcastle through, Dortmund through, Leipzig through, R Liverpool through, Inter Milan are through as well, Manchester United make it through, Real Madrid, Bayern out of the Champions League, City through, so of course some big teams remaining in the competition. Next episode though, the majority of the ep the majority of next episode is going to be about that Premier League game against Liverpool because that could genuinely decide who wins the Premier League title this season, so I cannot wait for that one. Also guys, do let me know your early thoughts on a possible Mbappe signing. It would be crazy, but if St. Maximin leaves... I think it's something we gotta do. Played of the episode for me, I'm just, yeah, it's gotta be Fabian Shaw. What an episode. The clean sheet against Man United was just superb. Again, really good against Milan. I think overall we didn't defend well, but I thought Shaw was really good individually. So for me, it's gotta be him. With that, now, this is where we're ending off today's episode of the Newcastle Career Mode series. Hopefully you're enjoying this series, man. And if you guys are, drop a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll catch you all next time.